Hello and welcome to From the Depths. In my second to last creation, I'm working on something else right now. And we are in the cockpit of our brand new jet bomber. Yep, that's right. That's a proper jet bomber. Now, it's not perfect, we could do with a little bit more stuff, but I'm going to, as always, give you a little walk around of uh, as how I created this thing and then we'll do give it a spin versus some enemies. Now, I wanted this to be a pretty small attack uh, plane, it ended up being bigger than what I expected, still it's not um, massively big, it's 41 meters long, uh, so yeah, it's kind of a tactical bomber, let's call it that way. Uh, reasonably fast at 61 meters per second for from the depths, that's a pretty respectable speed. Uh, tends to fly with a noticeable pitch up attitude and that's because this thing um, is <laughs> tends to put the nose up, let me demonstrate that. Oh. Yeah. Would need a little bit better balance but I don't want to add more weight to it. It already has a couple of lead um, blocks over here in the front to balance the um, center of mass being to back. But other than that, it's a really, really, really nice plane and works the way it should work. Obviously it has limitations, I will enter on those when I explain how the plane works. But well, let's uh, give it a, an overview. Well, obviously the problem with this thing is uh, the same as with the chopper. I can't really um, go inside and show you part by part because the inside is pretty much crammed with stuff. And uh, if I try to put the camera in there, you are going to see nothing. So I'm going to try to explain everything from out. Uh, we can begin with the cockpit, obviously, it's um, very simple, has an advanced uh, weapon controller, a plane controller, and that's pretty much it. <coughs> Behind the cockpit section is the engine section, I have a pretty powerful engine, 1200. Uh, I'm not using most of that power at the moment, to be honest. I could put some seals on this, and I would, and I will, if I ever use this in a campaign or against some serious opposition. Uh, but for, well, just yes, showcasing the plane, I'm going to leave it without seals. Uh, mostly because I, I mean, this is a plane, and real life planes don't have seals. So, yeah, for the purpose of the video, it's going to be uh, sealedless. But again, if you are going to use this in a um, campaign or against enemies with uh, AA guns, you need those seals because an AA gun impacting you is going to be pretty much devastating. Against enemy um, misses, however, we have these flares here, which are pretty effective at uh, distracting them. At least the higher missiles. Um, I don't have any defense against um, laser guided missiles, but that could be added with not much uh, big of an issue. Well, just behind the cockpit, as I said, there's the engine compartment, which takes more or less up to here. Then we have the AI and a lot of equipment, materials, fuel, that kind of stuff. And behind we have the big, big, big engine, which for how big it is doesn't produce uh, the thrust I expected, but well, um, still makes for a pretty fast plane. Um, up at the top we have munition detectors, these are to cover the frontal ar uh, top and side arcs from enemy incoming missiles. Now here we have um, the detection staff, uh, uh, range finders, trackers, ra active radar to give an all-around view and detect enemies. We have also some more um, munition detectors. If we move back behind, we will see that we have even more detection stuff back here. <coughs> A rear was facing visual camera and more munition detectors. Especially important is the one in the back because it's the only one that gives uh, give us proper warning against, against enemy misses coming from the um, top aft way um, side. From the bottom we have that one over there, but that one up, to up top is really, 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 really important. Uh, that's pretty much the fuselage, honestly. It's a lot of stuff crammed in, PIDs to control the um, the flight, really this thing was super unstable at the beginning with the PIDs, it's pretty pretty uh, pretty pretty stable. Um, yeah, I've been learning a lot about PIDs and how they work because 
it's it's a otherwise it's impossible to keep something flying straight under AI control. Uh, more stuff. Uh, the wings. The wings are um, swing wings activated by a spin block here, and as soon as an enemy is detected, they um, deploy to zero degrees, so the weapons are parallel to the line of flight. The problem is. I would have loved to make these uh, weapons to tilt alongside the wing. So, I mean, have them uh, pointed forwards uh, when at top uh, angle and spin inwards. Ooh, we have an incoming um, island. Let's turn away from that. There. Um, as I said, it would be nice to have them pointing forwards uh, in the top um, inclination of the wings, but the problem is you can't mount uh, a turret nor a um, spin block uh, on top of a structure created with a spin block. You can't stagger them. So yeah, that's this is the best I could do. Uh, weapon systems are mostly in the wings, but I also have some in the fuselage. We'll go with that in a second. Uh, we mounted um, missiles, our um, AJ missiles with a frag warhead, two fins, two fuel tanks, pretty decent range, and they are limited to AJ uh, targets only by the AI. I set a minimum altitude so it doesn't fire against ground targets. Next in line, this could easily have been um, missiles very similar to those I used in the, in the chopper. Uh, the problem is, I wanted something different. I mean, we have already seen how laser-guided missiles work. So these are not missiles, these are bombs. They have no means of propulsion whatsoever, and that allows it to have a huge amount of um, explosives. And by the way, this is incorrect, this should be 10. 10, 20, 30, and 40. Yeah, like that. Uh, these are laser guided and they usually fall on top of enemy decks and it's not strange for especially for wooden decks to these things fall on an enemy deck and um, rip through the whole ship I mean you can see fragments of uh, the warheads going off uh, under the enemy ship they are very very powerful for the size obviously by the way why do I have now a fragment uh, holy shit Okay, these are 30. There. Um, yeah, well, they are laser guided. They have two uh, laser units, one in the front, one in the back. They are all set to my team's missiles. And that's because this thing is so quick and those bombs have to be released from so, so close that sometimes what happens is, especially if the enemy is coming my way, that it drops down and the enemy is past me when the bombs should connect. And obviously, with a forward facing laser, uh, you are not ensuring hits with that. So, I put forward and rearward lasers so missiles um, bombs will hit. Semi recesses and uh, recesses, uh, rece uh, um, semi hidden under the fuselage. <laughs> there are four radar guided um, uh, anti ship anti air missiles. They are dual purpose. They have an active radar seeker. And uh, they have frag warheads staggered again. Pretty decent range, uh, only one sort of range field thruster with a little bit of start delay because they are launched downwards. You will, uh, you are going to see that in a second. These are good against enemy planes and enemy ships because uh, of the target precision guidance, which allows it to hit uh, fast planes with mm, decent reliability and still have pretty good warheads against enemy uh, warships. Let me demonstrate how they fire. There they go. See, they drop and then they engage. Which also makes for a really, really nice effect of sea-skimming. You can see they are barely above the water. They hit pretty, pretty hard. And they, re um, they are six long. They don't take a huge lot to reload. So they are pretty practical. Left wing is pretty much the same. But I'm going to do the same thing I did before, which is put them at there. I don't know why, and now let me save that. Um, I don't know why these weren't the way they were supposed to be. Um, some thrusters to attitude control. Again, um, well, this is from the depth. Sadly, uh, you need those to keep uh, control flight uh, using PIDs because PIDs 
use thrusters, use um, propellers, use everything, but the actual control surfaces they don't really use that much. Also, the AI, I don't know why, is really dumb at the time of using this plane, and um, there's no way around that. I mean, this is a fully capable and fully aerobatic plane with a pretty, 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 pretty good um, turning ability, as you can see. Obviously, I have to sometimes there stop turning to correct the roll angle, but it's very 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 um, maneuverable, it's fully aerobatic, it can perfectly do loops, as you can see, it has a pretty tight turning radius, but the AI simply seems to not notice, <laughs> uh, but it works, and it works pretty well. Obviously the problem is I have no seal, so against any enemy that has a proper AA gun and advanced cannon in AA mode, this goes boom. Seals are required, and I have a huge, huge, huge amount of power for that specific purpose. 1000 power, um, some seals, it's perfectly achievable to put a couple of uh, diagonal seals in the front, a couple of in the back, and one covering the bottom, and uh, have it um, been decently protected. But again, for the purpose of this video, I left it as it is. So let's see in action. Let's put something first, something not that complicated. A Kalmar. Okay, Kalmar is in. Soon. Yep, wings are in the attack position. Where is the enemy? Far to that way. And as you can see, well, the AI doesn't turn the plane as good as it could. But yeah, well, kind of happens. Let's move towards the enemy and see the effects of the attack. Okay, here we come. Missiles are off. And as soon as we are close enough, the plane will drop the bombs. Okay, missiles connected. Okay, we got hit, I think. Uh, didn't see him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bombs are off. Both bombs are off. I didn't see him. Connect them, but as you can see, the damage is pretty expensive, extensive. We pretty much went through the bottom of the ship at, at one point, I think. No, not really. But well, almost, almost there. Usually, I have it set so it turns uh, to keep a constant uh, rain of bombs. Um, so probably misses won't come off in this one. Only the bombs. Okay, it's stabilizing. Oh, misses dropped. Good. Ah, uh, here comes the bombs. Ooh, that's a uh, risky. Ooh, okay. Almost hit there. Bombs coming. Lots of damage. And we went past. Okay, final turn. Bombs should be coming off anytime soon. Okay. And these are going to be pretty much vertical. Which is the effect I love on these bombs, when they go purely vertical. Yep. Yeah. Top to bottom. Magazine destroyed. Huge, huge. A hole in the hole. You can see how effective this thing is, obviously, against enemies with no AA defenses. Against enemies with missile, anti aircraft missiles, uh, usually are. Um, infrared guided. I usually don't have a problem because the flares are enough to deal with those. Um, but what kills me are advanced cannons. A fast firing AA gun rips these things to shreds. So for those, really, um, seals are mandatory. Ooh, got a bad hit there. Some structures got destroyed. But the enemy got badly, badly hit. And since, well, we are not doing that bad after all. Some repairs going. Plane seems perfectly maneuverable. Yep. Yeah. And the enemy is destroyed. Well, obviously, that's against an enemy which is not a huge problem. I mean, that have no defense whatsoever. So now we are going to put it against something with AE defenses and um, see how we do. And also we see that as soon as the enemy despawns, our wings will come back to their proper patrol position. 
There they go. Plane goes back to horizontal flight and we keep on patrolling. Okay, let's try it with something with AAs. Um, thinking maybe a Wanderlust might be good for that. Has some AA missiles. Okay, we are just past it. Enemy has been immediately detected. We are going far, far, far away from it. Dropping flares. Missiles have been distracted. <coughs> this plane, I. R this is the good thing. The, the, the engine doesn't have a huge heat signature. Um, so, air missiles, missiles are easily distracted by flares even when they come from behind. And from the front, they don't stand a chance. The air uh, flares are much, much stronger than my uh, signature. So, I usually am able to easily, easily distract them. Okay, ooh, that's a very nice diving attack I'm engaging. The enemy has a laser, however. But it's not going to be enough to look at that. You can see how devastating those things can be. Okay, missiles again. <laughs> deflected by the air missiles again. Air missiles are not a huge issue. The problem is if the enemy has um, an advanced cannon with a good rate of fire. Okay, missiles again deflected by the air uh, flares. Laser firing, but bombs are in the way. Good hit on the turret, I think I disengaged it. Well, we got rid of all the armor at the very least. You can see flares are working well. Ooh, did we? Yeah, we, we destroyed, we actually destroyed the turret on that pass. So you can see how deep penetration is and I think that we actually got the whole ship. Yeah, AI dead. Wow, that was effective. Oh, huh, good. Okay, so what do we want? Um, did we get nah, nah, let's put on his words. Um, I don't know. Something big. Okay, Bayleaf. This is big. And I know it doesn't have a huge slot of AA. It's mostly a Viking ship. It's very cool, by the way. Okay. Bombs are out. Vertical strike. Wow. Yep, that pretty much went through. Also some... Some big explosions, probably ammo containers in there. You can see, yeah, we hollowed out a big chunk of this hull. Okay, we are coming again. And uh, yeah, well, the um, ability of this bomber, however, is that those bombs can very easily be swapped by um, laser missiles in the same way the ones I had in the helicopters. Uh, in the helicopter and that way you don't need to come this close to the enemy because with bombs you are pretty much required to overfly the enemy and uh, yeah that was pretty devastating I think we might have gone through no but almost the iron bottom stopped it from happening but yeah you can see how effective those things are in reaching the enemy vitals as I was saying, yeah, with bombs you are pretty much required to overfly the enemy, which is not really, really good if the enemy has good AA uh, advanced cannons. So, in order to avoid that, uh, you can use missiles and set the AI to remain at uh, maybe a range of 1500, something like that. And with that, you would remain out of the fire, most dangerous fire of the enemy while dropping missiles from low range. However, that doesn't do for a very exciting video, that's why I chose to go with the bomber configuration for this one. As you can see, ripping through, opening the hull already because that part is flooded, probably we destroyed some pumps. And uh, yeah, obviously this thing is defenseless, so I think it's a good showcase of um, how this thing operates. I'm very happy with it. 
especially with all the work I put it, it, with it uh, in order to make it stable enough in order to execute this bomb's attack uh, because seriously, seriously PID configuring is the most infuriating thing and the most um, uh, depressive at times because it's really hard to do um, in this game okay that was an alpha strike all the weapons at once and uh, yeah the enemy getting shit on you can see here by the way how useful these backwards lasers are and could have put one just one down here looking down and then I would have forwards and backwards but then I would be limited in elevation so if this thing is pitching down I like the ability of this um, guidance system to keep track of anything that way as well so yeah well let's do a final attack and uh, then let's take a sneak peek into what I'm building currently okay bombs are dropped and uh, guiding towards the target I'm pretty much shitting on it oh the enemy has there to answer fire good good luck with that yeah you can see well it only requires a couple more attacks the thing is this thing has a very very sturdy bottom hull so it requires a lot of things to go through it but it's obvious to see it stands no chance right and um, generally it's the case against enemies that doesn't have um, auto cannons against enemies which have auto cannons it's very 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 easy to come here swap this for um, proper missiles and then you have a somewhat less hard hitting weapon but from stand standoff ranges which is really neat and I think uh, we finally got through the enemy hull here yep hull is pierced the enemy is going to go down in no time so okay so this is what um, I finished let's see what I'm been working in in the last few days now obviously this is far from complete far 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 from, from completion uh, still have a lot of things to do a lot of stuff to put in but it's um, basically working now in a very very primitive way um, it moves it can fire its guns and uh, well if you're wondering what this is this is not a bounce ship not by far it's only um, 160 meters long this is a light cruiser has eight 16 guns which are currently operational already let me demonstrate they fire uh, a pretty quick rate of fire and they hit pretty hard Obviously this is far from completion when I'm done with this and will take some time be aware of that I will do a proper um, walkthrough of the ship all around from stem to bottom uh, stem, sorry, from stem to stern and top to bottom to see how it works right now it only has those guns I'm planning to put a lot of AA here um, maybe a laser system because I have more than enough room and um, yep yeah, Obviously, again, this is very big. It's taking me a lot, lot of time to get done. But uh, yeah, this is so far what I'm working on. So, well, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. As always, I hope you had a lot of fun. Thank you very much for watching and see you later.